Well, I'm at the TU Automotive Conference just north of Detroit, Michigan, and I'm standing next to the Mitsubishi Electric booth, where inside they've outfitted a, a Lincoln SUV with an amazing uh, display. It uh, is probably the biggest graphic display I've ever seen inside a car. It's almost like a bowling alley with graphic display. Well, let's take a listen and find out why this may be Facebook for cars. Mitsubishi Electric, um, so we're a global tier one auto parts supplier. So we do everything from clusters to in-vehicle infotainment. We do a variety of other uh, functional safety technologies and also we're in, in the automotive space as well. So we're showing off some of our latest um, user experience concept work here. Uh, we have a digital cluster, uh, center stack, uh, it's a 4K display, as well as a really long uh, display going down the middle of the vehicle that's used as a kind of um, digital experience um, screen for an entire uh, family to use while they're you know traveling. One of the design questions we asked ourselves is what Kind of things we're going to do in the autonomous vehicles uh, as we go about um, using them especially when we are uh, traveling with others so we thought that um, a long display like this would help support a lot of the interesting use cases that um, we found to be um, useful for um, entertainment and comfort so so we're going to program a, a destination and we're going to go ahead and start that Internet's been kind of laggy at the show, so it'll take a little bit of time to load all this. we're traveling you can see the large view of the map interact with it zoom in zoom out pan around and again because this uh, spans the front and second rows you can actually um, have fun doing it you know it's it's a, a fun experience just looking at a map and you can look at all the places around you what road you're traveling on so then uh, you know, we're at a connected car conference, so um, the idea then is once vehicles start talking to each other, you can then actually start uh, uh, conversing with other cars around you. So what we've uh, thought of as a concept, something like a Facebook for cars, where you, uh, when you're sharing the road with others and you advertise where you're going, you can actually then uh, see where others are going as well. So you have, for example, um, you know Joe Thompson, who is uh, uh, traveling from these two uh, from this two chefs restaurant to this uh, gas station destination, and so um, the idea is that now we form this kind of a platoon of cars who are traveling in a similar direction. And again, uh, this is thinking of um, a few years down the road where vehicles can actually uh, cooperate with each other and can. Um, communicate their status such as um, you know their energy expenditure their uh, gear shift ratios all that good stuff um, where you can optimize energy allocation especially in a electrified future but um, you can do some cool and fun things for entertainment such as use a cellular based v2x to communicate with you know your lead vehicle who you're uh, in a group with so you can send voice commands you can um, Share music streams. Let's see if we can get that going. There we go. So you can hear that. So let's mm -hmm. let the audio pass through from his car to yours. And then the idea being, uh, again, um, in fully autonomous mode in the future, you'll be able to actually um, simply just move the platoon around by, by dragging and dropping the vehicles. 
So over here we're overtaking the, um, the slow moving vehicle on the right. Or you can go the other direction as well. And the large display really lends itself well to an application like this where you can see the roadway. Well now the obvious question is, this is absolutely fantastic uh, visually, but is there any chance you'll ever see this in a vehicle? Well, uh, there's already work being done on platooning uh, for energy optimization use cases. Uh, CB2X is right around the corner. Um, 5G is right around the corner as well. So with, um, with that and as well as the uh, evolution into L3, L4, L5 eventually, we'll see variants of this. I'm not necessarily saying that this is what we're going to see in the future, but um, you know, uh, things that are similar to this, definitely. And this is because, uh, you know, mobility as a whole, it is a social experience. So we're going to want to form uh, social circles around who we travel with. We already do. Um, you know, we entertain ourselves with others, we converse, etc. So this is just a natural extension of that. And uh, social media and social networking is, is just a step away from entering the vehicle. So this is a, uh, a newspaper in the back. Something is going to happen in the future. That is, autonomous driving is going to force everyone to kind of interact with everyone else. The car will be driving itself, the people inside the car will be driving each other. 